Fusion RV is uh, Crestron's growing up room view product, which offers um, asset management, room scheduling, calendaring, all types of features, energy management, and full control remotely of all your existing processors in your classrooms, or lecture halls, or conference spaces. So let's go ahead and log in here. I'll give you a quick overview of the interface for Fusion. Over here on the left side will be your room or default setups. I just have one room here, which is my lecture hall. If I click on that and drive in deeper, it will show all your assets, whether a touch panel, DVD player, shades, any devices that you put into your room will populate here, and then you can drill deeper into those and get into the config of that uh, for the Capture HD with the media services package for Fusion RV allows you to do remote management so we can come in here and have our online status if you're not on the network you won't be detected just have a composite camera hooked up right now um, this will be your capture bit rate if you're recording locally and the capture format is just a mp4 h264 but the live stream is going to be an mpeg transport stream i have content plugged in via vga but it also accepts hdmi and has phoenix blocks for balanced audio unbalanced audio as well as audio loop through and video loop through for content the pro unit is unique in that it has an additional sdi input so if you have just the standard Capture HD, you won't have any SDI presence. It has the current meeting name, as well as who is the organizer. Fusion RV allows for multiple users to schedule, calendar, have asset management and tracking. Um, so I just have my main admin user. The current status of it is that we're streaming. And then there's three storage areas on the Capture HD so there's a multimedia card slot in the back as well as two USBs one on the front one on the back I currently am using the USB on the front which would be great for instructors that just need to come in and do a local recording they can just plug their flash stick right in the front and be covered with that um, for FTP uploading for covering local you're going to need to have an FTP server set up with a path for it to upload to as Fusion RV watches this folder if you're going to be using it in conjunction with the Crestron Media Player and the RSS features of Room View to populate um, RSS feeds whether you're scheduling it through the built-in Room View scheduler Lotus R25 and also integration with Exchange and Outlook for calendaring remotely starting recordings however um, deep you want to integrate Fusion RV into your existing infrastructure. You need the FTP username as well set up for permissions for that FTP user and then if you have any images you can have default images set there as well as default documents that get attached tracking your asset and then just an overview of it you can put in a bunch of details about a network uh, service intervals for different types of assets in your infrastructure so we can close that out here is the action panel where you can send out uh, broadcast emergency messaging um, remote start and stops of your capture units system power off remotely so from here you would just go in select your room and then go ahead and apply an action so if we wanted to go ahead and stop our recording or live stream right now we would just hit stop it would apply that action and go directly to the unit we we're controlling. Moving on down, there would be your room panel. I just have lecture hall, and you can drill into this, and it will give you information about what type of uh, pieces of gear are in this room, the status of the room, whether it has any upcoming meetings, or the devices in there. Um, there's the asset pan for uh, what you have in there. Uh, people that have permissions to schedule that room the floor plan of it and then the other images and documents moving on from here is the scheduler I'm currently just using 
the built-in room view scheduling so I have my lecture hall room highlighted if I scroll down to our current time it will show our live scheduled capture here so if we wanted to schedule in a new meeting go ahead and double click and you get two options either a meeting or an event an event just pushes an action immediately at the time it's scheduled a meeting is actually a duration which gives you the option to actually schedule a capture to take place so we'll go ahead and choose a meeting this will be fusion RV overview location be the lecture hall we're going to start this at 10 p.m. and it will run through 11:30 p.m. we can put in any description here um, presets if you're going to do video conferencing it will allow you to put in the IP or gateway number here for the room we're going to go ahead and choose our capture location we're going to be using our lecture hall under the people tab you have the the role so I'm the organizer I'll follow here but we can also invite people to this meeting and this would integrate deeply with Outlook calendaring uh, you can set recurrences so if we wanted the uh, same recording to happen multiple days of the week we can go ahead and set it Monday Wednesday Friday and then you can set it to have no end date limited to a number of occurrences or say end by and then a nice calendar pops up and we can say end by you know in two weeks for now we're just going to do a single capture so I'm going to go ahead and not have any reoccurrences for setting up a capture the profile is preset under deeper settings in Fusion RV which is based on encoding profiles so we're going to go ahead and save and close and there we go we have our new meeting set up we can drill back into our meeting now go to capture and here's the default RSS feed that's already created so we can send this out to people and let them know that this will be the address that our uh, recording will be at after it takes place so we can go ahead and save and close that and we're scheduled 